everybody. Good afternoon. Oops. Welcome back to the channel. This is Butterfly Square Garden. My name is Jason Sebastian. And today we are going to be mounting and pinning some butterflies. So I went to check on the butterfly enclosure and there was three on the bottom and they must have just kicked the bucket like this morning because I check on them every night and they're, you know, if I touch even the antenna, if I touch them, they're, they're not moving and butterflies live for about six weeks. So anywhere from one day to, you know, two months is normal. So we're going to be mounting and pinning some more butterflies. And then afterwards, I've got a surprise for you. One of our butterflies, he closed this morning. So the life cycle continues. The first thing we're going to do is take our little ball with pins and take out a couple pins and line the edges but not too much because we still got to move around on the board so who remembers what i did in the last video probably not many of you because i haven't posted it yet sorry for posting everything at once um been tired the last couple of days so hmm the first thing I do, let's move them up a little bit. First thing I do is go right between on the neck, right there. Then I do the body where I kind of touch the bottom and slide it up to make sure that nothing is stuck and then I do it on the other side and then um, I'll do should I do the antenna now let's do the antenna now I'll pin the left antenna with two needles and then I'll pin the right antenna with two needles. We take a long sheet of loose leaf. I just cut, you know, just a little bit. And then we pull. Is he moving? I don't like how he's moving. Let's pin down the other side real quick. So remember what we said, we wanna have a nice little V. So we're gonna pull the, the top wing until it's about horizontal and then we're going to pull up the bottom wing so that it meets with a nice little v in the corner so let's do that with the top left we just real gently pull up one side Pin, pin, this is definitely easier with tracing paper, <laughs> but I don't have any. I'm using my thin tweezers on the bottom and I'm pulling it up. Putting in a fresh paper. Pin, pin, yeah, that one could be better. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the right side, so. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. You're just gonna have to hear me talk. Pulling it up, pulling it up, pulling it up, pulling it up. And 
Now with the bomb. Move your little booty. Ta-da! And then we're gonna do the same thing. Just really flatten it down. Okay. And I don't think the abdomen is gonna fall, but sometimes just in case I do a little extra bit of needlework on the ends because we want the abdomen to be like up and not like hanging down um, and then the last thing I do is pin the top I didn't take out enough needles so I'm pinning the top corner of the wing and then the same thing on the other side One more, one more needle. Okay, so that is that. What I'm gonna do next is move. I'm gonna pin these two. Oh, I have to pin that now. Mm. Okay. Uh, do I even have enough paper to do it now? I need more paper, so. La, 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 I need scissors. Okay, well, I'm going to pin these other two right now. Um, and I'll be right back. I'm back with some paper. So if you don't have loose leaf, I'm just going to show you guys real quick. I mean, if you don't have tracing paper. I just cut. See how there's two lines, the equivalent of two lines. And I just go down one. Two. Three. Let's do one more. Then you cut them. Oops, sorry, butterfly. Cut that. And then you just layer them on top of each other. This length seemed to be working, so I'm going to put that on top just to measure. And then. I think that's good. So now I've got a whole bunch of these thingies. So now you saw how you do that if you don't have tracing paper. So I was just going to pin these off camera, but um, you know that song, any content, anything is content, anything is content, anything is content, anything is content, everything is content, everything is content. That's all my, my big needles, and now I have these little tiny ones, which I actually like better, but just for the sake of speedy video, I'm taking them out extra beforehand. And then we're going to super glue some more butterflies into Petri dishes, and that is how I make my little Petri dish shadow box. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I think that's good for now. So the first thing I do is I move the little baby up as far as I can go on the board. We pin the neck. And then we pin the abdomen. Maybe push it, push it down a little bit. Oop. 
that worked, but it kind of turned them a little bit. So I'm just going to fix that. Repin the neck. Ooh, that's perfect. So that's really, that's a good, that's a good one. This time I actually lifted the bottom of the abdomen up a little bit because it was sagging. So I picked it up just a little bit. And then these antennas are nice and perky. These are really perfect antennas. All right, so now I'm just gonna pin down the left side. Ooh, that's a double needle right there. That's a double needle. It's got one head with two needles, so I'm not really gonna use that one. Wow, magic. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna lift up the wing. Be ready to pin it down. I think that's good. We want you to stay right there. That was really good. Now I'll do the bottom. I really should do top, top, bottom, bottom. Is that good? Should I try doing that? Let's just see how that works. Okay. That was good. So because we want, we want the left and the right sides to match and that's easier if you do top, top, bottom, bottom because these can match on the left side and the right side can match each other but they have to they have to match on both sides. So that's what I'm trying to say. How am I going to do this? So let's move this over. Oh no, there's glue on this paper. Okay. The abdomen's kind of high now. Whoop, we dropped it real good. That's perfect. I like that. And this little antenna keeps coming up. So now let's do the same thing. I'm, I'm out of needles already. I'm so this is literally, you know, I'm really fast at this. I mean, I don't know if there's other people who are faster. Maybe they've got more practice, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm pretty good at this. And this is the, the speed at which I move. So, so anyways. Lift it up. I think I'm going to do like a crisscross now. With the paper. And these are really big butterflies, so it takes extra paper. 
to pin them all down, and that's a good thing. He's still turned a little bit. There we go. Should I bother with this corner? Yeah, I'll bother. It would have been better if I used flat paper. That's good. And now the corner part of the wing. Okay, that's two down. Let me just take out a couple more needles. Should I plug in the glue gun now? Yeah, I'll plug in the glue gun now. But I might have to move all of these butterflies. La 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 la. <laughs> Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun. This is my dream job. This is what I do. So, hmm, how far? I have my glue gun. <gasps> Where is it? It's gone. Where did I put the glue gun in? Ah, uh, it's over here. So I'm going to go plug in my glue gun. Does it reach this far? Let me unwind it. And do I have glue? Yeah, I've got plenty of glue right here. There's a special way of doing it. So it's actually important that I show you guys because you don't want to leave the little trails of the glue, like the web, you know, the webbing. Um, I'm going to have to go under the table this way, maybe. I'm under a table right now. Does my voice sound different? Okay. I'm back. Was I on camera? Okay. Does it reach? Wow, it reaches. That's perfect. So that's going to be warming up, which means I don't have a lot of time. So this is going to be like a speed pin. So the first thing we do, this is really small one. And the small ones are cute. So I move them up, get the pins out of the way. So this is where it's really important to be able to pin down one side at a time because this butterfly died with its wings closed, which um, that's when you would typically put it in a hydration chamber. So I pin down one side, doesn't matter how, I just get it down. And then I get the legs in the little hole and the body in the hole if I can. And then I spread the wings myself. Get a paper ready. And then put it down with the paper. Pin you down. So now we're pinned. We're not gonna run or we're not running away. Uh, I'm gonna do the neck. and the abdomen. Which is pretty droopy, it's pretty droopy abdomen. So maybe we can lift it. Mm, no, I'm just gonna leave it for now. Um, because I don't want to, like, break it, you know? It's not that important. And let's do the antenna. On the left antenna, now the right antenna. I ran out of needles again. Taking out more needles, taking out more needles, taking out more needles so I can pin my butterfly. Um, drop a comment below, like, and subscribe. 
what should we name the butterfly? Because every butterfly, do they need names? Do they name each other? What did the other butterflies name this one? Flutterby, Flutterby, um, Fantasia is an F name, Flooby Gooby. I gotta remember that there's a hot, there's a glue gun right in front of me. Uh, putting this under some paper. It's gonna start dripping, that's why. So left side. Going under, pulling up, 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 up. More than you think. And now the right side. Smells like hot glue. That means that we're in arts and crafts studio pulling up the wing in a way that you can't see but I'm doing it and don't rip the wing off <laughs> That's important, don't rip the wing off while you're doing this. Very carefully. Doing each side. Just lifting it up. Definitely need tracing paper, like for real, for real. Can I lift the abdomen? I may have ruined, no, it's not ruined. The abdomen's fine. It's just not as high as I like it, but that's okay. Cause it seemed like really wet. So maybe this one wasn't dead for more than like a couple minutes before I walked in. But as you can see, none of them moved like a single time that I was pinning them, so. They're Dunskis. So that is three pinned butterflies. Wow. Thank you. Round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. So now we're going to unmount and pin. And this is, um, I have a, spe a special way. I use the tweezers to hold down the paper because if the paper comes up in a way um, that pulls the wing, the, the wing will rip. And we don't want that because we just put in all that hard work. So I just pinned three like perfectly, like perfect butterflies, but these are the reverse. These are really old um, and worn out and like disintegrated. All right, so it looks like it's staying in place. I didn't like calculate how long. They're supposed to be mounted and pinned for a couple of weeks. So I hope that it was a couple of weeks 
it seems dry. I mean, the room has been pretty dry, so. Dry, 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 dry. I, I reuse these papers. I just didn't have as much because I threw out a bunch. So like I said, um, other professional butterfly stuff, they'll like pin straight through the body. And I think that makes it easier to move them around and stuff, but I just, I never liked that. Um, I don't want to do that. So that's why I, I pin around, I pin the neck and around the body. So it looks like we've got some some good specimens here. They're dyed red because they were drinking red Gatorade. So that's one for the ages. Um, I think I'm gonna move to a clear Gatorade. But then, you know, that's how they know that it's food, is they know that it's red. So, like the hummingbird feeders are red because they drink red flowers in the tropics. When I say paint plant native milkweed, I, I say that because there's common milkweed and then there's tropical milkweed, which is like red and orange. Um, which orange might be why the caterpillars oops i knocked over my glue gun so orange food the caterpillars like to eat the orange cabbage and maybe they eat pumpkin and stuff i haven't tried that uh i think people have had success with cucumber but i was never a fan because cucumber gets like it just like turns to goo after a couple of days, which maybe the caterpillars like that. I know my millipedes love eating goo. Um, and I love my, the roly polies, the pill bugs. They're technically crustaceans, um, but I give them all of the dry milkweed, which I, I have over there. I'll show you in a second, but I cleaned out the caterpillar tank no, um, you know, the net. And I took out all the old food, and it looks like there's some really fat chonkers in there. Almost done with the unpinning, which I'm also really fast at, by the way. So the hard part is the delicate areas. Unpinning the antenna. Unpinning the neck and abdomen. Everything is staying in place, so that's really good news. It means that it's been drying for long enough. And then I had it in the freezer overnight. Um, I didn't know if that was going to affect them, but it looks like having them in the freezer overnight maybe even helped, you know, maybe it helped freeze them in place. But I did that more uh, just in case there was like any sort of, there's like a beetle larva that seems to be eating my mounted butterflies. So I found one in the bathroom the other day and I was going to try to take it outside and I ended up accidentally squishing it. But I found the shedding of one and then I found one and I killed it by accident. So now we are ready. The next thing I do is kind of measure like, will it fit in this plastic square container, which I like doing the best. And then I have the body. The head is really like right in the center. So I put the glue like right below the center. And it looks like, except for maybe, I think they'll all fit. I had big ones ready, but I think this will fit just fine. So get something underneath it just so I can see this is a clean Petri dish. Oh goodness, <laughs> I'm gonna have to move everything up. Am I still on camera? Yeah. So I make a dot and then I wind it around 
I can't even see my lines. I make a big old glob and then I wind it around so that there's no like ooh, webbing, which there was anyway. Now you gotta be quick. You grab the butterfly and you drop it right there. Perfect. And this is not a perfect butterfly, but in art, like, those are the things that we, we appreciate, the imperfections. Ta-da! An old, beat-up, disgusting, crusty butterfly. Is it better to have them? Yeah, I like having them, them like that. And by like that, I mean... Um, you can have them square or diamond, and I've, I've been liking having them as a square. Okay, let's do another globby. Big old globby, no, no web. Grab quickly, because the glue is drying. Drop it right on the glue, press it down. Okay, I think that's another good one. What is that? Is that a crack or is that glue? There's glue on this. Okay. Two down. Oh no, there's a little leg. Oh well. Let's do another. And do a little globby. I put a lot of glue on this one. Grab the butterfly. They all seem to be the wings are chipped on. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's, it's fine. I moved him over a little bit. Just a little. Yeah, that's the third, it's the third one in a row where it's the wings on the right side that are like worn away. So why is that? Is it because the window is more on the right side? But then I think that would chip the left side. Anyways, are you going to fit in here, little mama? I don't think so. She looks too big. Unless I do a diamond. Would a diamond? I think a diamond might work. I could have done them all as diamonds. Honestly, which is the best? I think I'm going to keep it the way that we've been doing, like a normal square. And cross your fingers. This works, everybody. We don't want to ruin a butterfly. So put in a big old globby. I did a real big old globby that time. No webbing. Pick up the butterfly. Drop it in the hunk of glue. Move it into the desired position. The wings are like just touching the walls. But it's okay. I don't like how he's up on one side. Okay. Hmm. All right, perfect. Ta-da! So now we have four more butterflies. Wow, these are, some of them are dirty, wow. Okay, so let me show you what we've got. Ooh. These are now in Petri dishes. These are now pinned. Um, what else? Those are already pinned. That one is already pinned. 
That one, when it died, it had a really inflated abdomen and now it's starting to like dry out, but maybe it had just finished drinking before it died. Um, so this is my board of old butterflies. Whatever reason, three of them died today, but we're, we're happy with where they are now. Four, again, I don't really know why all of them chipped wing, chipped wing, chipped wing, like just on the right side. So I see one with in, in there. Here's the actual butterflies, by the way. We have plenty of happy, healthy butterflies. Flying around in the window, you see some with chipped wings, but some with perfect wings. And then down here is where they're laying eggs. This one's drinking nectar. This one's drinking nectar. I did top off the nectar of Zwarz, but um, I could probably add a little more. Some of them are on the last legs, but they're still alive, you know. They're just not really moving that much. Um, I did see a caterpillar on this leaf, so I have to, and there's a caterpillar right there. So I have to move them into the baby enclosure. My butterflies always zip close. The caterpillar enclosures are here. Eating the squash on a little tower. So that's this net. Uh, they're doing okay. These guys, you know, we've been trying to fight infection and I don't think it's OE, but um, I have to be on the lookout for, for disease control. But anyways, uh, it was hot for a couple of days, so it's cooling down now. This is where I had hatched babies, so now there's like little babies that are two days old in there. And this is my other milkweed net, which has lots of caterpillars eating milkweed leaves. I don't know why they're all on the same leaf. Like, hello, you can go on any other one, but I'm gonna add some more fresh ones in here too. Anyways, pretend I'm zipping that up. So that's another long video and I have, I think I'm gonna do like three 30 minute videos because it's gonna be a couple of days, but um, don't forget to like and subscribe, plant native milkweed, love you guys. And this is what we've been doing. Wow, swallowtails, wow. Okay, bye. I forgot to tell you guys, one of the butterflies he closed today. And it looks like a perfect butterfly. And this one was uh, uh, in a compromised position. I don't know where he was, but it wasn't good. So I didn't think that he was gonna make it. So I put him in, I was put him in with the old ones. Um, I have a couple nets over there with butterfly um, pupa or the chrysalis, but let's, ooh, I just kicked him by accident. Okay, oh well. Let's put him in. Let's put him in with the others. Zip it up. Excuse me while I awkwardly try to put on a glove <laughs> with one hand. I use two hands. Excuse me, fumbling around with the camera. Okay, I have on my butterfly glove. Let's just have him walk onto my finger. Okay, on my finger. Putting him um, onto the net. Let go. There we go. That's our butterfly right there. Put him in with the others. So, yes, we did work with dead butterflies, but we still got fresh, beautiful. Wow. What a beautiful butterfly. Wow. All right. Well, he's closed his wings. He's had a full day. And... See you next time. Butterflies. Flying around. Flying butterflies.
flying. Oh, let me open its wings again. Open your wings. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Okay, bye everybody. I love you. Bye.